show you how to make a bread in a cast iron pan. Fantastic. The cast iron pan I use is this one. It's got like a, uh, it's a medium size and it's perfect for that kind of bread. And we would be using some 500 gram of flour. And we are using this one today. And um, 20 gram of fresh yeast. And 300 gram of water and 5 gram of salt. Fantastic, Lena. Yay! And for the one who have a thermomix, I've got good news. This is what I will be using to make the dough. However, if you do not have a thermomix, you can still use your kitchen robot or your hand if you prefer. First, I'm going to add the yeast. The beauty with the thermomix is that it has an incorporated scale. So I'm gonna add the yeast of this 20 gram, beautiful. And then next we need to add 300 gram of water. I use a filtered water. You can use whatever you wish. Oh, I need a little bit more. Beautiful, 300 gram. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it for two minutes. Oh. At 37 degrees. Because the thermomix, for those who do not know, uh, actually uh, heats the food as we go if we need to. And, uh, oh, hang on. Speed. Speed two. I see you in two minutes. All right, the two minutes have passed. It's cooling down now. Okay. Look at the beautiful. Water mixed with the yeast. Oh. It's a bit there. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. The beautiful color. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go back to the scale. I'm going to add, it's very important to add the flour first before you add the salt. Because I heard that the salt mixed with the yeast. Uh, might stop the yeast to do his, uh, his work uh, um, as well as it normally does. Okay, so we do need 500 gram of flour. to have my five on bird and a bit like that. I like to be when I watch the spot. And I'm going to add the five the five gram of uh, salt. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna set it for eight minutes. No degrees on the door function. So put the door function on, I turn it on, and I'll see you in eight minutes. Just one thing for the one who owns the Thermomix, it can be a bit jumpy while it's making the dough. So make sure it's not too close to there in case it falls. So keep an eye on it while it's doing the dough. The eight minutes have passed. Let me show you the beautiful dough. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it in a salad bowl. Fetch it. It's nice and warm. Come on, come on, come on. You can... okay. It's a little bit sticky. I'll give you that. <laughs> Beautiful. Gonna 
Ah, oh, pretty there. Beautiful bowl. Beautiful. So my trick to rise the bread, I'll just pause the video just to wash my hands. So I'm going to put a glass wrap around it so there is no contact with the air. There you go. That should be perfectly done like this. Beautiful. Nice, isn't that? So my trick is, I put it in the oven, with not warm, and I uh, put a bowl of boiling water with it. It's gonna make the bread rise so beautifully. You'll see. It is now rising in the oven with a bowl of boiling water. And I will see you in one hour and a half to see how much she has uh, doubled or maybe triple, maybe. <laughs> An hour and a half have passed. Before I get the dough out, I'd like to prepare my cafeteria uh, pan. So what I do, I just put a bit of a baking paper at the bottom. So that way it doesn't uh, stick into the pan. Some people put uh, butter and flour, which is totally fine as well. Now I'm going to get the dough out. Let's have a look. Oh wow, can't wait to show you, I've gone so big, look at that, that's amazing, so now we have to work it, so what we call in France, we're going to degaz, so taking the air out and form it into a bowl and then put it in a cast iron pan and then we're going to let it rise for another half an hour before we put it in the oven. Alright, I'll start by putting a bit of a flour into Beautiful. It can be a bit sticky still, but look at this beautiful. Oh wow. Absolutely amazing. Woo! I'm excited. So I'll put the so what I do, I dig it like this. Boop. And I put another one like that. And I put another one like that. And I form a bowl like this. So by going like that. Oh. It's normally lose a bit of its size, but it'd be fine. So what then I turn it over. Beautiful, look at that. What a beautiful little bowl! I am going to now put it into my cast iron pan. Ha! So excited! I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna put it over the middle again because uh, I'm gonna put the lid back on. I am going to put it half an hour back into the oven with a, a bowl of boiling water and then I will uh, turn the oven on to 240 degrees and I'm going to leave it for uh, 15 minutes to an hour. Now it has uh, risen for half an hour in the oven, in the pan. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to wet the dough. So I take a little bit of water on my hand and I wet it like that. I'm going to put a little, some flour to it. Beautiful. Just a bit more. Pat, 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 pat. And then, very important, I'm going to split it. So, like this. Maybe I should have done it before I put the flower on. Anyway, if I have. Very important to split it. Gonna help it expand. I like 
to do one like that as well. Why not? Beautiful, look at that. It's gonna be, it's not as sharp. I will buy next time uh, more of a trade's knife. I reckon. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna now put the lid on and put it in the oven. Yay! 15 minutes have passed. Nice show time! Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> oh. There you go. Just back have a look, have a look. Ah, look at that! Isn't this amazing? Wow! So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let it rest for five minutes and I'm gonna take it out and put it on a, on a grill to rest. I'll get back to you on that. Hey guys, and this is the end result of the bread that my mum made. You might have saw her um, take it out of the oven, but this is so big. The bottom's like this, and I'm going to show you a bit. It's like a sun, but sugary or flowery. Shall we cut it? Yes. Okay, oh. shall we? Oh, I was going to use it for a deep bread, but... You know what? Let's, Let's get it and show them. But it's gonna be super hot inside, guys. It's gonna be really hot inside. And can so. I try it? Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Shall we? Shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Can you press on the other? Oh, wow. Look at that. Woo! Look at this. Oh. So crunchy on the outside, so soft on the inside. It's amazing. No, let's <laughs> just try it. I'm gonna try it. Okay, no, no, okay. take a piece like that because it's super hot. Be careful, okay? Blue on it first. That is you. Okay, so what do you think? Yeah? No? That is really good bread. Oh, yum! Oh, yeah. it tastes amazing, like at the baker shop, the bakery. This is the best I've ever had. Oh, you are so cute, darling. Wow. Here we go. Now there's no secret, you know how to make that bread. So I would like to see every one of you making it and send me a photo wow. of your result, please. That will make my day and warm my heart. Cheers and good luck with it all. Bye now, say bye bye. Bye. <laughs>